I know I said there was going to be two books, but YouTube only lets me to read for 15 minutes. And apparently Bambi and Three Billy Goats Gruff was 20 minutes. So I got to do it in two videos. So this is part two. Do you see that? I told you, look who ended up on my lap. Fred. Mm -hmm. He likes story time too. So let's read Three Billy Goats Gruff. Ready? Once upon a time, there were three brother billy goats whose last name was Gruff. They lived in a beautiful place where the sky was always blue and the river flowed across the green grassy meadow. One day, big billy goat Gruff had an idea. Wouldn't it be nice if we could cross the river, he asked, and try the grass over there? I think it's delicious. Though this sounded simple and lovely, the brothers felt very differently about this idea. Oh no, replied little Billy Goat. It would be too dangerous. We cannot walk through the river because it's very deep and it flows so quickly. We get swept away. The middle Billy Goat Gruff added, and the only way to cross the bridge is where the mean troll is who lives under the bridge and he likes to gobble up goats. I don't want to get caught. Big Billy Goat Gruff replied, I'm not scared of that troll. Let that nasty old troll try to eat me. We'll see who wins that fight. Yes, but we're afraid, said the little brothers. We won't be there to see you win because the troll will have already eaten us because you're so much stronger than we are. That's a good point. Well, this certainly is a challenge, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. But if we all make it across the bridge, safe and sound, we just need a good plan. Let's put our Billy Goat heads together and figure this out. So the Billy Goat Gruffs huddled together and came up with a clever scheme to get across the bridge safely. What do you think they're going to do? When they were ready to try their plan, the three Billy Goats trotted over to the meadow and approach the bridge, making sure to keep out of the troll's sight. I don't want to get in the troll's sight. Then the littlest of brothers worked up the courage, walked over to the bridge. Oh, you know what I mean? Trip trap, trip trap, trip trap, went his tiny hooves as he walked across the bridge. And suddenly a big, hairy, googly-eyed head popped up from underneath the bridge. It was the terrible troll. Who goes there? demanded a booming voice. Who is trip-trapping across my bridge? And the very small voice Billy Goat Gruff answered. Oh, it's just me, tiniest of Billy Goats. I'm all skin and bones and I'm going to go over to the meadow and I'm going to go to the other side of the bridge just to see if I can batten myself up. The troll reached over the bridge and gripped the railing with his gnarly hand. Well, I'm coming to eat you, said the troll. Eat me, said Billy Goat Gruff. Why, I'm not worth the effort. It would be silly to eat me before I'm all fattened up. My big brother will be here soon. He's much fatter than me, and you can eat him instead. Because he's just tiny. Hmm. The troll considered this and decided it made good sense. Well, get off my bridge then. Skedaddle! He shouted, and don't come back until you're big and fat. And just as the goats had planned, Little Billy Goat hurried to the other side as fast as his little hooves would carry him. And then, as middle Billy Goat Gruff's turn to cross the bridge, off he went. Rumble crock, rumble crock, rumble crock. Who goes there? Grumbled the angry troll, licking his chops. Who's rumble clacking across my bridge? It's just me said Billy Goat in a steady voice. Oh, goody, says the troll. 
I'm coming to eat you. Middle Billy Goat Gruff stayed calm. Eat me? He asked. Why would you do that? I'm all skin and bones from a long winter and no grass to eat. In fact, my bones would probably get stuck in your throat. You should let me go to the meadow where I'll get fattened up. And just as the billy goats had planned, middle billy goat said, you should wait for my bigger brother. He's the biggest goat. He'll certainly satisfy your belly. And like before, the troll considered this and once again decided that made good sense. So he shouted, get off my bridge then, skedaddle. Don't come back till you're big and fat. And he disappeared into the darkness and under the bridge. Middle Billy Goat Gruff trotted away and met Little Billy Goat Gruff in the meadow. From where they stood, the, big, the goat brothers could see the bridge and waited for Big Billy Goat to finish up the plan. They watched as Big Billy Goat Gruff walked onto the bridge. Stomp, tromp, stomp, tromp, stomp, tromp. And just like clockwork, the mean and hungry and not so smart Troll roared, Who goes there? Who is stomp tromping across my bridge? And he leaped onto the bridge with a single bound. Big Billy Goat Gruff had a terrible, tr and the terrible troll found themselves standing face to face on the bridge, staring at each other. And like that, the Big Billy Goat Gruff narrowed his eyes and replied in a loud, strong voice, It's me, the biggest of the Billy Goats. Then he lowered his head as his horns were pointed right at the troll. And he started running and he charged. Kablam! Big Billy Goat Gruff slammed right into the troll with all his might. To the nasty troll's surprise, he was lifted right off his feet, high into the air, and thrown right off the bridge. After spinning wildly through the air, the troll landed in the deep river below with a spectacular splash. Oh, that poor frog, I bet he was scared. It's a big troll coming at you. As the river's current swept him away to a faraway place, he grumbled and cursed the day he had ever let those three billy goats set their foots on his bridge. The greedy troll has never been seen nor heard from in these parts again. And little billy goat gruff and middle billy goat gruff cheered their big brother from the new meadow as they triumphantly crossed the bridge to join them. Because of their determination, cooperation, and clever plan, the three billy goat scruff had managed to not only get past the mean troll, but rid themselves of him forever. The ghost spent all summer long happily eating delicious green grass and dandelions in the meadow on both sides of the bridge. They could go back and forth as they pleased and grew to be quite plump. Like that. Mm -hmm. Trip trap, rumble clock, stomp tromp. Hooray for the three Billy Goats gruff. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The end. Did you like it? It's one of Nono's favorites. I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.